A week? You mean that whole time I was... A cold? Yeah. Just as well, too. When you blacked out, you were on your way to becoming a pile of ash. <sighs> Shion's the reason you're still here. Shion? You've healed me? In case you'd forgotten, we've still got four lords to defeat. You dying would have only slowed things down. What about Balsef's troops? We've got them on the ropes. While you've been getting your beauty sleep, most of the remaining Renans have either surrendered or fled. You slaying Balsef was the catalyst we'd been waiting for. Thanks to you, Galaglia is finally free. You have my gratitude. We couldn't have done it without you. I just did what anyone would have done. Iron Matt, forgive me, Alfin. It's good to finally see who I'm speaking to. <sighs> Half of him, anyway. So, feel like telling us who you used to be? I... I wish I could. Memory's still giving you grief, eh? I see. Still, no sense in beating yourself up. You've remembered your name. The rest will come in time. So, what happens now? Well, just everything. The realm may be liberated, but we're still destitute. You name it, anything and everything starts from scratch. But enough of that. You've just woken up. You should get a sense of the scale of what you've accomplished. Head over to the Gates of Fire, and take a look at the view. It's a sight too many Danans died, only ever seeing in their dreams. The Gates of Fire. I'll be your chaperone. Last thing we need is you tripping on a pebble and missing another week. Remind me to laugh next time. Sounds like you're starting to warm up to her charms already. That blazing sword's turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <sighs> With that much sheer power, elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster, too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal. Err, I didn't realize there were so many injured. Uh... Yon? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Leon. You can stop now. We'll take her to rest from here. Hmm? Something happened while I was out. After she finished patching up, she she in here was kind enough to help us treat other in, injured folks. I tried telling her she's done more than enough. You know, she even though she's kind of bashful. What? She's like what? Even though she's kind of bashful, I think she is kind of nice. Like she's got a kind heart. I just. I just figured the sooner you you the you all were back on your feet, the sooner we could move on to finding the next lord. I wasn't out. It wasn't out out of the kindness of uh, goodness of my heart. Yeah, sure. You keep telling yourself that. Is that right? <laughs> well, whatever your reasons, we appreciate the help. Thanks. Beyond map action, Xion can use her healing arts to treat the injured people that you find during your travels. Do so and may earn your reward and returns. A healing and injured person and approach them. Basically, you CP. Just another form of CP. Bending the CP. Shion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Because I'm edgy. Like with Tulsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? I don't know. That's a good question. Why can't she? 
Our interests just happen to overlap. He keeps saying that. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the lords. See? That's what I mean. <laughs> you want to defeat the lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword. Just kiss me already. <laughs> Don't just close in on me like that! <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. Uh, I was just trying to compliment you. You... were? Okay. <laughs> what now? Sion! Your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion. For everything. <sighs> oh, RGQ when you're being bad. Now let's go check out those gates of fire. You know, you keep you keep you keep complimenting her, she might actually start to like you. Which I think that's already starting. <sighs> really? I swear. You're bad for the heart. You're bad for the heart, huh? So it looks like it looks like our little dude here is is a lady ki killer, huh? Well, I mean, he's got a face. Look at that. Who would say no to that face? All right, so we have to go out here and do some side quests. You know, I I really like that. Okay, off like we go. Segment. So it seems like she's got a thing for him. Well, he is a pretty honest guy, and he is, like, kind-hearted and stuff. What's not to like about him? I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsif kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. Looks like this place opens out into the ocean. The water's so much cleaner than what's on the surface. I even see fish swimming around. Yeah, and boy, do they look delicious. What? N never mind. Hmm. Huh. She's she's the kind of girl that likes to eat. I like a girl that likes to eat. Maybe that's why she's so skinny, is because they, they don't feed her enough. Could be also the reason. Oh wait, that was like eight. I was gonna do some side quests, but I ended up doing the main quest. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. Then it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. Hmm. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I'd wager they don't give it back, right? 
What? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... Uh... I? Yeah, she looks like she needs help. Huh. Looks like we got a new traveler. She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah. He's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there, but it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. We can take that thing on. That's not your run of the mill enemy. Let's attack it. Holy shit! Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's run away. Why can I not run away? Why can I not run away? Oh, fuck this. Yeah, it's over because I picked the wrong fight with the wrong enemy. I'm not done yet. No, fuck that. We're done. Where is? We are totally done. Just camp real quick here. Everywhere we go, it's nothing but rocks and sand for days. I don't think I've seen any grass or flowers this entire time. Yeah, it's hard to come by anything to eat around here. Well, the sooner we get out of this realm, the better. Why am I here? Just to suffer? Would it kill you to be a little more friendly? Yeah, would it kill you to be optimistic? I don't see how that's necessary. It is entirely necessary. Look, for the time being at least, we're working together. You don't have to make this harder than it already is. In case you've forgotten, the two of us may be working together, but the only reason we're even teamed up right now is because our interests happen to overlap. Yes, I know. Otherwise, why in the world would I be working with a Danon slave like... I am not a slave. <sighs> I'm not a slave anymore. Not since I chose to fight. I've left that life behind, and I'm better for it. Understand? <sighs> I'm sorry for yelling, but please don't call me that ever again, okay? <sighs> okay. It's so quiet. From now on, no one is going to be whipped or killed here ever again. Yeah. Hey there, Doc. Hey there, Doc. Hmm? Who are you? Oh, you don't remember me? It's me, Iron Mask. Though these days I go by Alfin. I finally remembered my name. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Yeah, it's the same guy you're talking to. Wait. 
You're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alpha now. And I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it. But now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renin? I'm not saying it to any old Renin. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh, have you tried searching Keert Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Keert Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. Right. Um, let's go and ring up the map, see if we can just get there. Looks like a search zone. Oh, here it is. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. Right. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Yes, your heininess. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, we should maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Fine. Did you find anything useful? Yeah. We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Alfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. Give Telsa the medicine at Uzbek. Uzbek, Uzbek. It's deck. Alright, so we gotta go run all the way back over there because I can't pass from here. Or back. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. Cool. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell. But when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian Resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, 
but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, yeah. huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... She's a what? I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. That's true. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? You can't do shit. What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. That's true. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them, too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason. I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. I wonder why she's eyeballing him like that. I wonder if she's getting some ideas. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? Makes me feel better. But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred either. Hatred comes in many forms. 
There's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. But slavery is all I know how to do. Now we're out in the open free world, away from the gates and everything. What's over here? It looks pretty damaged. What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. What the? What do you want? What's got you so worked up, Hulu? Maybe it's hungry. Uh oh. Is that? Oh, great. Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. Which is... They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? It's not like they're dangerous. I mean, come on. We did this before. They're just bees. Knock a flying enemy. Me out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. Damn it! Who wants to die next? Take what you through! That buzzing is driving me mad! This one's mine! Yeah, see, it wasn't hard. What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? Ow. Is that... What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> damn. I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Huh. Ha -ha! Oh. Oh. Aww. You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Freedom. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. 
What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. Precision. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? Unless you know how to do realize. I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Does that mean she's accepting compliments now? She's learning. I hate camping out. Oh my god. Just deal with it. We're camping. No exceptions. Probably a good time to save right here. What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly, but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? Yes, everything is has to do with fighting. Living is fighting. This is another form of survival. Good. This came out just the way I hoped. Hope you all like mushrooms. These are spicy mushrooms. I see you up there wearing glasses. What four eyes? You think you got some on me? Oh, you just gave me a pair of glasses. Thank you, appreciate it. I'm surprised there are owls here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Think you're better than me just because you're better than me? Ooh, actual cave. I take it we're heading through here then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed. And then she was gone. Oh, that's tragic. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But, but... Uh... <sighs> Let's go. Hold on a second. We got one more cutscene. What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. 
Right. Just word of advice. If you guys ever enter what's called the digital age, where social media is becoming a thing, keep all the dumb people off of Twitter and Facebook if you guys have anything that's similar to those names. Because there's a lot of idiots on there, and we don't need them to hold back society. Oh god, they actually move. Holy shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. They were sleeping. Now what's up? It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. Well, I do got an air conditioner on. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Sislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Sislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Sislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. Wow, really? So? Renan surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Danans spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <laughs> That's why the world needs people like us. We probably get moving. I mean, she is kind of a mystery. She seems mature, but yet also kind of young to be almost like a childlike. Once say she'd be a lolly. I would say she's just, just young. That's all it is. I don't know. Like, believe it or not, I there is I have met girls before that uh, that are actually quite that short and small and tiny to where they would actually look and appear younger than they actually are. It, it's like, I don't know, they, they sort of, some of them have a gift of that, some of them don't. It's all in genetics. I like to think she's probably older than what she looks like. I mean, I, I think everybody does, including Sheen, Sheena. Because I don't think she comes off to me as a, there. As, a, as a teenage girl or something like that. I would say she'd be like around her 20s because she seems to be mature enough to be for that. Did I just backtrack? I hope not. Good thing I land in the water and out the rocks. Ooh, damn, that'd be bad. That'd be so terrible. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. I'm sorry for expressing concern. Jesus. Could she, like, would it kill her to be a little bit nice? A little bit. Not much further now. 
The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the Lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. Yeah, speculations, right? Oh god, now it's cold. I want back into the Fireland, it's freezing out here. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Really? Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. All right, then. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. Word to wisdom. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? We can only hope. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. We'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. 
Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. You tell she's lying. Lucky indeed. Something's fishy. I don't mean that in a disgusting way. Temperature control. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. Huh. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Achoo! And yourself. Was that also a sneeze? Yes. I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Achoo! God bless you. Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Now she's bash. Is there any more dialogues that needs to be... Okay, fine. Let's get this all out of the way before we continue. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Jesus. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the Gates of Fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Yeah, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. You got the characteristics, dude. I don't dude. want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> If that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? Are we done? Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure everyone's done with the dialogues and the talking and the this and that and whatever. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I keep using the same damn finching move. Like when in that, I, I always go with uh, Alfine's attack. All right, we're actually here at our destination. Took as long as enough. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here. The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the bright eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it. Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now. What's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. 
I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. Why the test? I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislo-den. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here, too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, sorry. I I figured it I figured it was an open world thing. I could just walk in there with and dialogue still talk, but whatever. Silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to but the I think realm. you get the point. <sighs> Man, he holds that gun steady. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship? Know your place, slave! I like to say you guys try to make us. We can't use the blazing sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. Let's switch to your there iron. There are too many agents. Zephyr? Law, is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Hmm. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! I'm gonna fight this guy. Here they come! Fire You're mine! mine. Yeah. Take that! I never missed! Yeah. I'm going in! Engaging! Here I go! Lock and load it! Pass through! One more! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. Damn it. By the power You're mine! Fire the hole! You're mine! Move it! First strike! No, this is coming here! Let me help! First aid! Why'd you hear me? To stop the battle? Ah, right. You're mine! I'm on it! Damn it! Damn it! I almost had it with that aerial attack. Zephyr, are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it. It's over. Pierce it. through. Demon Fang. Demon Flare. So why is he a boss? Demon Flare. What? What's going on? I was about to do something. What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. 
It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! At least put up a guard. Zephyr! As big as you are, I'm surprised. I got it handled. But he just... God. He's my son. Yeah, I figured. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! What in hell? I guess I was running well. I think he was just knocked out. Oh great, more of them shows up. Enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't. I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. <laughs> Damn it. This is such foo bar. We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? What are you doing? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. What was the point of pointing a gun at her? Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. Huh, figured out. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? 
I am a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically? It's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've... always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Hi, this is hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh, Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> oh, wait. Still one more. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. 
It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle. Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. <clears throat> at least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. Uh, was someone getting interest? <sighs> Enemies who can cast astral arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt astral arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. <laughs> The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. Rinwell's ace. Hey, Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah, they don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. Okay. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. Oh, shit. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Hey. Okay. All right, guys, I am tired. I am going to go to bed. I just wanted to play around with Renwell because she's a cut. I mean, come on. She's she's adorable. She's a little cutie. I like her. All right, guys, I'll see you on the uh, the next video. And if you guys did li li like this video and you are watching all the videos and stuff I put out, uh, make sure you share it with other people. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.